Heron Island is a haven for turtles and eco-tourists. The turtles are so, so prolific here. You cannot go for a snorkel and not see multiple turtles. You kind of think, oh, I've got to keep moving, and you see another turtle, so it's pretty exciting. The island off the coast of Gladstone is a breeding ground for green turtles and endangered loggerheads. People then come here, they see, say, the turtles, they see the marine environment, then they fall in love with it, they get attached to it, and then they want to help them. But life is tough for these creatures. Only one in a thousand hatchlings will make it to adulthood. Now, climate change is making it even harder. Hotter sand temperatures are producing too many female hatchlings and not enough males. In certain places where the temperatures have risen quite considerably in recent years, it's estimated that over 95% of the hatchlings being born on those beaches are female. If feminization continues unchecked, it could have grave implications for the species future. If you have a hundred times as many females as males, it still could come to the point where there are so few males available that we start to see the population begin to decline. Dave Adams is running a pilot study on the island to see if he can reverse this. He's collected newly laid eggs from several nests around the island and is watering them regularly with seawater to cool them down. If this study is successful, seawater irrigation could be used to help boost the male turtle population, not just here on the southern Great Barrier Reef, but on managed beaches around the world. Inga Stunzner, ABC News, Heron Island.